afternoon guys and happy Saturday to all of your sunshiny faces. So we got a ton of stuff done for today. Um, we actually got, um, we had to go run a couple errands this morning. We went to Menards again. <laughs> we went to, um, Walmart and then we had to go back to Aldi again. Um, anyways, we got, uh, the stuff for like New Year's, New Year's Eve and everything. Then came back home, ended up actually having my coffee. Then we ended up going and moving my mom's, um, like shelf unity kind of thing I guess it is upstairs and like cleared it off moved it upstairs all that then we ended up um after that um we ended up starting to tear up some of the carpet squares that are on the floor in Matthew's current room where he's staying um my mom's old office we started doing that and then also too um and we went to Menards today because we needed spackled but also too so Jack could pick out the paint colors for his room so we got that done um and then we also got the spackle so that we can fill in some of the holes that are in uh, my mom's office from like that stuff fill in the holes and um that was what I worked on after we got the shelf stuff moved upstairs so all of that's done just waiting on it to dry and then we can probably kind of sand over it um once that's done um and then we can probably start painting possibly shortly however we did realize there's actually a little section of um like what's it called um drywall that actually needs to be replaced so um we are more than likely going to have our drywall or come back out and do that there's actually some that needs to be replaced in the like primary bedroom anyway which will be my room so we knew we were having him come back out but there was a spot in there that needs to be uh, fixed as well so he will most likely um we're gonna have to get him out pretty soon so that we can get in there and paint since I already have the spackle up on there already I mean we're like literally could paint tomorrow if we wanted to so but we're not <laughs> so we need to get like I was saying that um you know the stuff in there done and taken care of but, um, uh, like I said, we have to wait on that. Probably won't be until after New Year's. So, uh, I mean, ideally, if it would be really awesome, depending on what he is up to and how busy he is right now. Maybe you could do it the week after, some point after New Year's. Um, it, it should probably only take him a day. But um, we do have to wait on that until we can kind of officially move forward. But we can also move forward with probably some other things in other rooms as well. And, you know, that kind of stuff. And, um... So anyways, I am still working on my closet decluttering sort of. I actually think I'm going to do my sweaters and my shoes today. So I thought I'd share with you guys that um, as I've been slowly pi accumulating piles of donation. I want to say so far the amount of stuff that I've gone through already, which has just been like jeans mainly and like leggings, that kind of stuff, like long pants and things um, and any type of shirt or like upper wear I guess <laughs> um it's like shirts sweatshirts t-shirts long sleeves um you know all that kind of stuff I went through all of that I really think that I ended up donating more than I actually got for Christmas as far as volume goes like the amount of space all that stuff took up in my closet I think was less than or was more than what I actually got for Christmas plus I haven't even gone through my sweaters and my shoes yet so I'm so happy about that like just being able to declutter and get new things you know like again and being able to get rid of the old things and bring in kind of the new things that I got for Christmas. So, like I said, I think that that is really awesome. Um, and I'm pretty sure that, like I said, once I'm done with all this, it will accumulate volume-wise um, more stuff that I'm donating than I'm actually got for Christmas. So, <laughs> I guess that's really good. I'm making more room than I got for, you know, like I said, Christmas stuff, which is awesome. So, um, just doing some more of that kind of cleaning and things like that. And then when I get done with that, we are supposed to get food so I'm going to try and go through this quickly it's just two totes kind of worth of sweaters that are actually in like this little tote like drawer thing that's up in the attic so I'll share that with you guys and then what I do end up getting rid of as far as like sweater stuff goes and then show you guys because I think we still have a box full of this stuff I don't know if it's out in the car yet it's because both days that we actually went out of the house we forgot to take it to go and donate it um but <laughs> I have to finish doing that um I actually did that on Monday I think it was was when I started and then I did some of the other stuff on Tuesday and now I'm doing some more of it today but again too we've been doing all the other project stuff and getting my mom's desk moved and all the shelves moved we took two days to do that so um anyways like I said that'll be really awesome to get all this stuff also gone through 
Um, I, the only thing I might also do my dresses. The only thing I'm not going to do right now is shorts. I'm going to wait until probably the summertime when I bring those down anyway to go through them. Right now, I don't feel like doing that and trying them on and seeing what fits and what works and you know that kind of stuff. Also, too, because I'm not in the mindset of shorts, so I might just be like, ah, I just don't want to wear any of these and get rid of all of them. Whereas I might in the summertime be like, no, no, I actually do have an outlet fit for that. But like right now, my brain is just in like winter clothes, so I can't really think what summer clothes I still want to keep I probably would lean more towards getting rid of things that I actually probably would want to keep so like I said that is what I'm working on right now um and I'm going to try and get at least the sweaters done right now and then the shoes hopefully as well and that could be maybe a little bit of an easier part <laughs> um is actually the shoes I don't have a lot of shoes anyway which is kind of surprising but I did get a couple new pairs for Christmas so I want to make room for those as well and there's also two of the same thing shoes in the closet that I just don't wear very often also too I used to keep my winter boots up in like a bag in the attic as well um and then like switch them out with my summer stuff and then I put the summer stuff like flip-flops in a bag and put it up in the attic I might do that so that I have a little bit more space as well for the actual winter shoes that I have in the closet but right now I think everything is downstairs so I want to get that kind of situated and split up um as well if I need to so I'll see I'll share with you guys though so this is what I ended up actually keeping I can't tell you guys how much space I actually made both of these did not close they were like sweaters piled up to the top I couldn't like pack them down enough to be able to close these in and this is what they are they go into like a little drawer unit thing and they can slide in and out um which is kind of cool some type of like plastic storage container system whatever um but they are really nice for like um you know like storage we've had it for a really long time um it's kind of gotten passed around <laughs> um that I'm currently using it for my sweaters eventually when I move into my my bigger room again I will most likely have space and won't have to store these up in the attic but like I was doing it where like I take the sweaters out during the summer or the winter and like switch them with maybe my shorts or something like that in the summertime or t-shirts or whatever um but they're kind of just up there right now and what I was going to do is in my closet, I have one of these that are actually free of space. There's nothing in them right now. Um, and I was going to keep extra sweaters in there that, so I have them down in my closet and it's easier to get to. I might not even need to do that, guys. What I might just do is like when I wash sweaters, if I don't want to take them up to the attic right away, like if I pulled like maybe two sweaters out of here and wore them during the week, instead of putting them up right back upstairs as soon as I get them washed, I might just put them in here so that they're at least put away. And then I know, okay, these are the sweaters I have to go back up into the attic or two if I want to bring maybe a couple down that I'm like I might wear these within the next week or two so I don't have to keep making trips up and down to the attic then I'll maybe store them in here and wear those and eventually move them back up and kind of just rotate them out um during the winter this year um but like I said guys this is awesome I got rid of another bunch of sweaters as well I think I am going to try and get to my dresses and my shoes and then I'll share with you guys everything um the multiple bags that I've gotten rid of of clothes so far this year to go to donations but I have them separated but these are like just regular like sweaters kind of um and things like that most of this stuff is actually sweaters or things that won't hang up on hangers very well um like the fabric you're not supposed to hang up sweaters because eventually they'll kind of you know um like uh uh like stretch out so i have a couple other things too that are similar to that but they're not like this isn't really a sweater but it's kind of the same thing like the fabric will kind of stretch out and they'll get weird from hanging on the hanger so these are just things that i don't hang up but these are all like regular like one piece kind of sweaters these are either like open or button or zip up or something like that so i do have them separated that way so i kind of know when i'm going to look for something what to look for um but this is awesome guys I had sweaters in here in there and in here and I condensed them all down to being able to close these with just these two so I'm gonna get these up to the attic um, I'm actually gonna watch the football game and probably bring my sweaters down or my shoes and go through those as well so guys these are the only shoes that I am keeping I probably ended up getting rid of I don't know several pairs <laughs> Um, a handful of them, though, were, like, pairs of shoes that my mom were, like, oh, these didn't fit me or I didn't like. Do you want them? And I was, like, sure, because why not? They're shoes, right? But then I ended up, like, I haven't really worn them. Um, <laughs> so I decided to get rid of them. Um, these, I actually like these boots, but you guys can see, like, this, like, leathery faux leather stuff is kind of, um, like, peeling. Um, and I, I want to get rid of them, but they're the, my only pair of like brown sort of boots like this. And I have a couple outfits that I wear with them that 
match really well, but I'm like at the point where I probably actually need to get new ones. I just don't want to get rid of them until I get the new ones. I don't even know if I'm going to wear them again, but I'm <laughs> just thinking apart with them. So this bag, this is actually from like a comforter set or whatever, but um, these have got my sandals in them and I've only got actually maybe two pairs of sandals I actually wear. And then the other ones are like 4th of July flip-flops. And I think these are bumblebee like flip-flop flip-flops kind of. Um, but the other ones are more like sandals. And then I've got one pair of Christmas slippers that are just going up in the attic since Christmas is over. I probably won't wear them again kind of wintery slippers but I do have a couple pairs already um so I'm probably not going to keep those I also have two pairs of slippers that are like like booty kind of slippers and I want to get rid of one of them but because I don't really need two and I have a newer pair so I'm kind of thinking of getting rid of the older ones but I like the soles on the older ones more than I like them on the newer ones so I'm gonna those are one of the things that again too I'm kind of keeping just to see if I will wear them again if I don't wear them again then I know the next time that I kind of like go through my closet to just be like get rid of them plus I don't I got a lot of other slippers plus I wear those like slipper socks kind of things a lot so I don't really think it's worth it to keep two pairs of slippers like myself so that's why I'm kind of at the point where I'm like maybe I'm actually just gonna get rid of one of the old you know the older pair but um I do just want to wait a little bit and see if I end up wearing them often or not so that is all I ended up keeping. I keep my shoes actually just in this um, laundry basket under in my closet, which again, to hopefully change in my new room. Um, but for right now, that's where they are. And this is actually going to go up in the attic for right now. But I thought I'd just show with you guys this. And also too, I'm not going to go through my dresses today only because all of them are on hangers and they're not actually hanging up. They're just on top of like a box in the attic. And they're going to be a huge pain to try and bring down and then go through just to bring them back back up so it's like I'm just gonna go through them when I move back downstairs and again too when I need dresses I just go up in the attic and grab one um but for right now I am not um going through those I just I decided that that in shorts I'll wait until I probably move downstairs to go through them and like I was telling you guys with the shorts until summertime so that is all I'm keeping it's a handful of pairs of like I have an old pair of gym shoes I use for like working outside I've got like two sort of maybe I just kept one pair of like a little bit nicer shoe gym shoe kind of things but I did just get the hey dude so I actually find that those might I think those were a pair though my mom gave me that she didn't want for whatever reason those little gray ones that are kind of down there I don't know if you guys can see but they're very similar to the hey dudes I just got for Christmas so I don't know that I want them <laughs> Um, and the funny thing is too, is that again, I do have several pairs of boots, but I only wear them like out, like, like for sort of, I guess, fancier events. <laughs> I don't want to say fancy events, but like a family party or something like that. Like I wear gym shoes all the time. I never get dressed up to go to the grocery store. So like, I just have one pair of gym shoes that I wear until they're like demolished. The old pair of gym shoes I actually have in here are the ones I got in high school. And I wore them out so bad that I ended up getting a new pair a couple of years ago. And um, those ones I just use for outside work. Like they still hold up really well though, because I think both times I got Nikes and the again too they hold up so well but I just like they're really um you know like just they they've seen better days and so they work well for like gardening and outside kind of project stuff and things like that um whereas my newer shoes I'll wear out more um because they do look nicer because they're cleaner and <laughs> you know that kind of stuff but I'm not a huge shoe person I don't I actually only have one pair of heels that I wear um I have like two pairs of flats that I wear and I've got two or three actually I didn't even know I had these black boots in here but I was like hey maybe if those ones I want to get rid of um and I have like one pair of cowboy boots or cowgirl boots I guess <laughs> but I don't have a lot of shoes I don't like change my outfits that much to wear a lot of shoes these ones I'm also considering getting rid of I actually want to say my mom got these second hand and they've kind of are starting to look like it a little bit um and I did just get those duck boots for Christmas too so that's another thing but I'm gonna get this put away and I'm done with my clothes officially until we move rooms and I can get my shorts and dresses taken care of as well. Well guys, I put everything into garbage bags and I have um, three, very close to three. One's not quite as filled, but my dad did get rid of five shirts, which he's very proud about. Um, I ended up counting. I got rid of a total of 10 pairs of shoes and between yesterday, or I'm sorry, today and Monday and Tuesday, all the stuff I got rid of, which like I said, does not include shorts and dresses. I probably would have had at least three bags, maybe more. 
if I had gone through all of that stuff as well. But I ended up having over 100 articles of clothing. And like I said, close to three garbage bags full, which is awesome. So um, I'm very happy that I was able to declutter a lot of, um, I guess, unused clothes that can go to somebody else that can use them. Um, and, you know, again, stuff that I just wasn't wearing. It was just taking up space. And so, like I said, I'm very happy about that. But I am going to um, actually go and watch the football game right now and just enjoy the rest of the day because <laughs> I've got so much work done. Um, I still, I need to finish getting some of my personal care stuff. Um, I was telling you guys I did a little bit of that yesterday and I don't know if I'm going to get to any more of it today. Maybe I will try, but um, either way, I did end up getting a, a slight bit of that done and I'm going to try, like I said, if it's not today, maybe tomorrow, maybe someday following very soon because I know tomorrow's New Year's Eve and then New Year's Day and I don't know um, but I feel good going into like the new year too with like less stuff it's like making me feel good like ah, I don't have any of this other like clutter kind of looming over like my entire closet is all cleaned and organized except for on the very top shelf but everything's in bins so it's not like cluttery or really anything I do have a couple of bags but they're inside of my suitcase so like even still it's not very like cluttery or anything like that up there but um, other than that that's the only thing I haven't like touched in my closet but all cleaned and reorganized and like vacuumed in there and everything like that um so everything in there has been cleaned down too and just it's very um you know like I said refreshing to have that for like the new year going into the new year with less stuff is nice so um anyways I am going to like I said probably not do too much else the rest of the day so I might just end the vlog here but if you guys did enjoy today's vlog make sure you guys give the gold thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see y'all very soon shiny faces tomorrow so bye guys.